Oh no, but I ran into the swarm. <laughs> I just don't think the gun's strong enough to survive just yet. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana army. I'm Litz and this is Deep Rock Survivor and we're in the Magma Core right now with the gunner who we unlocked. So I'm still quite early in the game at the minute. And what I'm trying to do is weapon mastery. So I'm trying to upgrade this weapon here. Uh, you can see I can increase it by level one. It's level one at the minute, so we can pull that to level two. And I want to have a look at how the gun improves because everybody says that the, you know, the game's a lot easier once you get your things up to level 12, <laughs> which we can't do there. So what we're going to try and do is just get this gun up to level 12 if we can and get through as many of them, as much as what this mission is what we can as well. So we've got to get to three different levels and kill the Dreadnought at the end to win the mastery. Now, I did the mastery with the Scout, and I'd like to say it was easy, but it really wasn't. So all I'm going to do, every single one, every single upgrade that we get at the minute, I am going to just take the gun. Everywhere that I can, everywhere I can level up my weapon, I'm just going to take. Now, I could do with getting gold. Um, I should probably move away from here and see if we can see any gold. But it's a lot harder to see in the Magma Core. So in here, I'm struggling to actually see <laughs> where the gold is. So, do you know, if you see it and I've missed it uh, on the video, please let me know. Please put a timestamp in so I can like learn where things are. Because I'm learning the game with you guys at the minute. And I know there's some really good uh, Deep Rock Survivor players out there at the minute. Now, we've played Deep Rock Galactic loads. But Survivor is pretty new. It's one that I didn't play straight away because I thought... I wasn't really into these bullet storm games, but I am getting into them a lot, lot more lately. I'm really enjoying them. And this one is, you know, this one's exactly the same. So yeah, I've been really getting into these bullet storm games. They're really, really good. So we just need to keep this. We're gonna, <laughs> how is this not a swarm already? So we're trying to clear this zone out so we can get a drop pod to come in, but there is a lot of them here. Look at this. Um, all right, oh, there's gold, I can see gold. Okay, so this is really important. Of course it is. And now, we're going to take some hits. Maybe I'm sacrificing myself a little bit here. Maybe, oh, no. I think this was a bad choice. This was a bad choice. Okay, maybe we can go back around there. Aha! This gun's not bad. I mean, this is only level 4, and this is pretty good. Okay, okay. Loot bugs. Safe. Always good to get a loot bug. I'm trying to get these bowler caps as well. Oh, look, this one increases weapon level by two. We'll take it. Let's do the fire rate and the reload speed. Oh, but then we've got fire damage. Do we want fire damage in the magma core? Okay, let me know if that was a bad choice. <laughs> but I've gone for fire rate because I just think firing more and reloading quicker makes more... Ah, makes more sense, right? Okay, we've got an elite there. Oh, this is hard now. So we need to get all the way around if we can. Okay, I like to kind of kill the uh, the ones that blow up the exploder bugs. Because if we can kill the exploder bugs, what we tend to find then is that it has a knock-on effect and gets all the others. So the plan goes. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> so that actually took down... That actually took down the big one, so now we've got to get out. Oh, we're going to miss out on the gold now, though. Okay, reload speed or fire rate. Ooh, mining speed. Okay, so the gun's at level 7 now, so I guess that's pretty good. I kind of wanted us to do better, though. I kind of wanted us to get more gold on this run. We've really only got 21 gold, which I think is going to put us on the back foot. We didn't get the bolo caps. We didn't get much nitro. Even though there's nitro there, we've only got 10 seconds. Oh, there's no point. There's no point. Let's just go. <laughs> All right, I should have probably dragged that out a little bit longer. But hindsight is a great thing, isn't it? So let's get some... Oh, I can't get anything, look. So look, all the gold we've got, we've only got 21 gold and all this stuff is 29. That was a bad run. I feel that was a bad run. But we're learning as we go. Oh, gold straight out of the bat, look. Okay, I think he must have felt sorry for us. <laughs> so let's get all this gold straight away. We need to get as much of this as what we can before like, a big wave comes. So that we can actually do something on the next round. Come on, quick. I'm just going to let him hit me for now. Oh, and I forgot as well. The health doesn't regenerate, does it? So whatever damage we take in the last round carries through to this round. Okay. Okay, so gun's now at level 8. And apparently at level 12, things get better. Now, we do want to get things like this. Because we do want to upgrade later on in between games to make sure that we have a better start. Because that's what we did with the scout. I actually had things that we 
um, did it outside of the game that did us all right. So outside of the actual mission, uh, things that we leveled up that I think made the actual run easier. I'm not going to get a chance to get that armor. <laughs> How many alpaca blooms do we need? Oh my days, come on. I don't think our guns... I'm kind of looking for red sugar at the same time. I can see some there, but I think that's a suicide mission. It's not worth it, look. It's, we're taking, we took more hits than what that was worth. Now look, if we kill these exploders, hopefully, even if we just kill one of them... Look at these spitty things, like plant things. Come on, if I can just kill one... <gasps> gold! Alright, we need to go around and maybe come back on this gold. I want to kind of kill one of these exploders, because it'll take out loads of them then. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Damn, okay. We kind of need to mine through. This is why the mining speed was a good idea, I think. Yes, did you see that exploder go up then? That took a few of them out. <gasps> okay, red sugar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Yes, okay, good, we're through. I'm, I'm just kind of mining to get away from them now. <laughs> Maybe the mine speed's not quick enough. Now, can we get back round? I kind of want to. I kind of want to get all this, all these dots here. Look. Oh no! I think I've kind of bit enough more than I can chew here. Oh my days! Look at our health. It's not good. It is not good. But we have got the good up to level twelve, so that's a good start. We only need two more levels, really. And then we've got what everybody says is the, you know, life should get easier when we get to level twelve, right? Oh, I'm not going to clear that. I'm not going to clear that on time. <laughs> That's the thing about this game. It's all about, like, trying not to overextend yourself. Oh, my God. Like, okay. Okay. We're doing it, though. We're doing it. It's kind of going back round to get the dots. There's an alpaca bloom there. So we actually need one more of those, which would be great if we could survive that. Oh, nice. We have? Oh, that was the alpaca bloom that we got then. Oh, so this is going to give us... I'm going to get reload speed. So this is now... Oh, this is level 11. We need one more level to get the level 12. I thought we'd just done it, but we don't. We need one more. Oh, see the rare reload speed, though. Okay, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We may have overextended there, which is what I'm all about. <laughs> oh, see, I know this would be good, but we're not going to have a chance to get it. Okay, bad move, bad move, because all this is going to blow up. Because we've played Deep Rock Galactic and we know that those plant things explode, right? So let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. Oh, we've got a hoarder there, look. Oh, we might be able to get the drop pad. Okay, look, it's coming down, it's coming down, it's filling up, it's filling up. There. Yes. Ooh, okay, so we can get fire damage, let's do it. Oh, okay, let's get back, let's get back. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is level 12 then, so we did it. 100%, all right, so we can get clip size, but we're going to lose reload speed. I don't want to do that. So this is piercing, but then we lose 30 damage and 30, oh, that was both bad, right? Let's take the piercing damage and just hope that we survive long enough to get to the drop pod. And now it's saying that this level 12 gun should be better for us, right? I mean, it feels pretty good. Okay, let's just get in. I don't. <laughs> but we have got 116 gold on that run, and this is the part three. <gasps> Look at this epic, plus 50 piercing. Okay, we need that. Oh, we can't get it. We haven't got the nitra. So the stuff that we actually want now, the stuff we want, uh, we can't get because we haven't got the nitra. Okay, so we just have to buy what we can. I messed up there. I'm going to spend the gold on 50% healing because I don't think we're going to survive otherwise. I say otherwise, we might not survive now. <laughs> okay, so there's the Dreadnought Egg. So let's just get the gold anyway, because you never know. We don't really need it now. I guess on run three, it's more about just getting the dots up to get our weapon to go up. And getting things like this, like, so that we can actually level up in between times as well. Oh, God, I can't wait till we get, like, even further on this. So this is our like level 12 weapon then, which is pretty good. You know, it's not too bad actually. Nitra, this is what we didn't get enough of last time. We need to get into the habit of getting this. Oh, look at all, the, look how the bottleneck they all are. That's pretty good. 
I mean, the thing is with the gunner, you've kind of got to face them more. So when we start firing, we kind of want to be like this look to get the most out of our weapons. But this is pretty good. It's like a scene from 300 right now. <laughs> oh, damage. Okay, let's do that. Oh, look, we're out. We're out. So look, I mean, that is quite lethal. As long as it's firing, it's lethal. The only problem is it doesn't kind of fire for long enough just yet. But as we level up more, I'm guessing that's going to get better, right? We're going to get better at that. So let's just keep leveling up. Level 14 is pretty cool. I mean, really, I guess we want to get to that level 20 if we can. Oh, look, there's the elite. But we don't just want the elite. No, no, no. <laughs> I knew all that was going to blow up. <laughs> all right, we're good. We're good still. Oh, look at all these dots. There you go. Look, so we just need to face them and kind of... The good... Um, look, the more that we face them, the more that we can blast. But it's also good for blasting your way through. So I kind of like the gunner for this game. I mean, it's not my favourite in the actual Deep Rock Galactic, but he's by no means bad. I don't feel like we're doing enough damage to that elite. Have you noticed that? Come on, come on. Okay, let's get our way through. A lot of dots here, look. Oh, we've got nothing for the gun. Let's do reload speed. Because I guess the more that we're actually firing, the more damage we can actually do. Or so the theory goes. Okay, I'm sure we should have had a lot more dots around here. <laughs> that elite is kind of keeping us moving when I don't always want to be moving. Okay, they're going to blow up again, but we're, we're okay. This, we're ready for it this time. Okay, I wonder if I can get through here. If I can, and then we can run around and get all these dots that we got from the last lot, right? These are what I want to be firing into. These are what we want, right? Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's just see how good this level 12 gun is. Oh, that is good. Okay, we're going to have to take a bit of a hit there. Where's the resupply? Let's have a look. Oh, I'm looking on the map. It's below us. Oh. Gosh, it doesn't feel like there's enough dots. I mean, look at the damage we're doing. It's pretty good. I mean, we're... This is Bullet Storm now, right? Oh, another level up. Fire rate. That's what we need. So the guns are like level 15, which is pretty good. Oh, no. That's actually bad at the landing zone that we've actually got the gold there because it's going to take us longer to mine, which means that we're not going to be able to get through it. Okay, let's do another circle. Oh, no, we're stuck. We're stuck. Can I cut through this without dying? Oh, we're only at half health now. So wasn't there some red sugar? Oh, I can see the red sugar look up at the top. And we've actually got three elites now coming after us. So, yeah, it's not looking great for us right now. The, uh, <laughs> the actual red sugar didn't even do a lot. We're just over half health. So we're kind of herding them like sheep and then using the, using the extra, <laughs> the extra gun levels to kind of keep us at bay. Okay, look, we've got this here. We can kind of, oh, I might be able to get this now. Let's run, 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 run. Here we go. Look, so that is quite powerful. I was hoping that would happen. So we actually dropped the supply pod on top of the uh, on top of two elites. <laughs> See, this is this is where the big RQ comes in. Seventeen. I wonder if we can get the gun up to twenty before we die. Because let's face it, that's probably what's on the cards right now. Looking at this swarm, <laughs> it's all about belief. It's all about belief, right? Oh, the dreadnoughts out. I just think there's too many for us to, to get around the Dreadnought. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Okay, good. I don't think we're strong enough to take him down yet. What we have to do is, as he jumps lot, the animation just change tact. So if we just change direction as he starts the animation to jump, we're okay. I'm just not doing much damage onto him. There you look. So change again. There we go. So every time he starts the animation to jump... We just kind of change tactics, like change direction, sorry. And that should be enough. So there, change direction. Oh no, but I ran into the swarm. <laughs> I just don't think the gun's strong enough to survive just yet. Oh, I didn't change direction. I didn't take my own advice. We didn't even change direction. Oh, but this is a big overclock. This is a level 18 overclock. So 150 damage, but we're going to lose fire rate. Or we can do 100% damage. And 100, well, that's going to be it. Because it says all of the weapons get penalties, but 
We're only doing one weapon, so that's a no-brainer, right? Surely that should give us more. Right, I need to change direction when he moves. There he goes. So there was the animation, and then we moved. So this gun should be strong now, right? I mean, it's hard to change direction at a time like this. <laughs> I don't think we're going to survive it. I mean, look, we've hardly took any health off him. We're nearly dead. Change direction. Uh, we're almost dead. The swarm's getting bigger, not smaller. <laughs> even though we're taking it down. This gun is amazing. So even though we're doing everything that we should to take it down and we're moving correctly, I think this is going to be a tall order. Turn... So we change direction every time that animation starts. Oh, look at this gun. This is what I'm talking about right there. So, see, I want to do reload speed, but I know that we should up the gun. There we go. Change direction. And then let's get... Oh, there we go. That was a beautiful explosion. So if we get down into all this lot, I just saw him do... I, I literally just saw him out the corner of my eye do the animation. So I'll try and explain it for those watching. And just to be clear, this is not a guide. There, look. So there was the animation. And then we move like so. So all we have to do is change direction when he does the animation. So hopefully he'll do it soon there and we can go to the side. There we go. Okay, I think this was a terrible move because we are stuck. And it's going to be very difficult to change direction now. <laughs> oh, we did it though. We did it. How are we even at half health still? And the Dreadnoughts hardly took any damage yet. Still. Change direction. <laughs> I'm almost running into him now. Oh, look at all these dots. We should be invincible after getting all this, right? Uh, I'm just going to keep doing the weapon look. So there it is. I mean, look, we have actually... I think we've got the facilities to really hurt him. I just need to face him more. That's the issue. Right, turn. Oh, good. Oh, extra dots, extra dots, extra dots. Uh, I'm just going to keep up in the gun. So we're level 23 now. Let's move. It's hard because it's hard to just turn around and shoot him because he's always so close. There we go, turn. <laughs> oh god, there's even more bugs. Look, we haven't even got him down to half health. I don't think we're ready for this yet. Oh, this was a bad move. There we go. There we go. Let's go back up the way we came. And they're all Praetorians, look. We can't even get them down. Okay, that, that is bravery, just running into the swarm. <laughs> Threat level's increasing. Yeah, we... <laughs> Alright, look, we did all that we could. Okay, we didn't do bad. So the total damage there was 1.9 million um, that we did. Most of that was kinetic energy, as you can see there, 1.6. And then 200,000 fire damage. So I guess if we do get more of these, so if we get more fire damage, more cold damage, etc., then we've got more chance of doing it. So we will have another go at this on the next video, I think, maybe. Because uh, I really want to get this mastery done. Oh, I think we've unlocked the Engineer now. Let's have a quick look, see if we have. Yes, look, so maybe we'll try and run with the Engineer, because I've not actually tried him just yet. So that'd be pretty cool to actually try him and see how uh, see how that kind of works. I've not tried anything with him. I don't know how the turrets work. I don't know how to drop them. I don't know how often he drops them. But it'll be pretty cool to use. So massive, massive thanks for watching, guys. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care now.